Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of The Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So this is a cautionary tale, especially to the ladies. Now on January 23rd of this year, a 30 year old woman from Botswana by the name of Lissetti Malapasai was caught at a Bangladesh airport smuggling over three kilograms of heroin now they caught her because she had walked through the line that basically says if you have nothing to declare you can walk through this line but when they scanned her luggage they saw the packages which sounds like it turned out to be heroin now the penalty for doing such a thing in bangladesh is the death penalty now some rumors and news reports i should say came out that she had in fact already been executed a couple of days ago but then i read somewhere where her father was like no she has not been executed and in fact it doesn't sound like she's even gone to trial as of yet so he's saying she's still alive i don't know which report at this time is true but one thing is for sure is that she did get caught smuggling drugs over there now again she was coming from south africa and ended up in bangladesh now, some other rumors, nothing official, well, that's why I'm calling them rumors, is that she was actually smuggling the drugs for her Nigerian boyfriend, and she actually got caught holding the bag, like literally, right? And so I say it is a cautionary tale. Well, for one, I just want to go ahead and, and just say this. I hope that she is not executed. Uh, just looking at her picture, her uh, sitting there in the white where she was at the airport, that's when she actually got caught. It just tugs on my heartstrings because as I look at her in that picture, there's like, I'm just wondering, does she know what she was doing and what it actually would cost her, like her life? Did she know that or was she sitting there thinking, okay, well, maybe I'll get in trouble, but not to that degree. And so I really feel bad. I hope they do not execute her. But I should say this, we know that when we go to visit other people's countries, we should know the laws if we're gonna break them, right? Like if I'm gonna be a mule, because that's what they call people, especially women who smuggle drugs for drug dealers, if you're gonna be a mule, say, all right, let me see what the, what the laws are over there. Like, am I gonna die if I get caught doing that, right? But more importantly, I wanna say this, this is a cautionary tale to women. If a man is asking you to do something like that, you must say, a hail to the gnaw. Find another fool to do that because for what I understand, if it is true that uh, uh, her boyfriend put her up to doing that, they said that he's already gotten married to somebody else. So he's got somebody else allegedly and now this woman in uh, Bangladesh is potentially already gone or she will be deleted sooner or later due to doing him a favor and maybe she thought I'm this is for my man, I'm gonna do it for my dude or whatever, but your dude ain't gonna do it for you. You know what, that reminds me of a book that I read, The Coldest Winter Ever. I ain't gonna give it away by Sister Soldier, and it talks about that. And in fact, I had my daughter and my niece read that book because I don't, it says that it's fiction, but it's somebody's story. And so that was a cautionary tale too. Stop doing things for these men uh, who are asking you to put yourself in harm's way. And I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, 100 with you a long time ago. I had this, you know, boyfriend it was a long time ago. I'm going to say a long time ago, okay? I didn't know. I had this boyfriend who, you know, I went over his house and I was visiting and stuff. He says, hey, can you give me a ride? I want to go to my friend's house. And I was like, yeah, sure. So he puts these bags in the car and a and, and couple minutes later, I'm like, after we, you know, right before we got to the, his friend's house, I was like, it smelled like weed up in here. And I asked him, I said, what's in those bags? And he's like, oh, it's just some weed. Now the bags were big, right? And so I was so scared. And all these things came to my mind like, oh my God, I could go to jail. Now, mind you, I had already read The Coldest Winter Ever. So I saw myself in that situation like, damn, what if we get pulled over? And I, he's talking about, oh, well, it's her, her truck and it's her stuff, right? I could be in jail for a very long time. And so... Once I realized he was willing to put me in that situation, I dropped him and I kept on pushing and we never talked again. And so I'm saying that to say, be careful, know who you're dealing with because everybody ain't your man. They, they just your man for the moment until you get caught up. So 
hopefully this woman uh, in Bangladesh is not going to die, you know, maybe she'll get a sentence like Brittany uh, Grinner, I don't know, but I don't wish death on anybody, but again, be careful. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of this, and for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.